is one that I have been wanting to bring on my channel for longer than I can even remember because ever since I started my channel I have been bombarded with emails and DMs and tweets and just all of the above from you guys asking me whether or not sleep paralysis truly is what science and medicine claims it is or if there's some sort of paranormal aspect to it. So today we are going to be diving into all that is sleep paralysis. We're going to dive into how modern medicine and science explains it, but then we're going to dive into the paranormal side and whether or not there could be something spiritual or paranormal regarding sleep paralysis. Before I get into today's video though, make sure you guys let me know if you're comfortable in the comments below whether or not you yourself have experienced sleep paralysis and whether or not you feel it's medically explained or if you think that there's some sort of paranormal aspect to your personal sleep paralysis. Let me know in the comments below because I personally have never experienced sleep paralysis so I can't really say my personal thoughts on it. I can just say what others have experienced and what medicine and science claims is the reasoning behind it. So interestingly enough, known accounts of sleep paralysis dates back to the 10th century and currently affects around 10% of the world's population, which I will say 10% doesn't seem like a lot, but when you factor in that there are 7 billion people on planet Earth and 10% of them experience sleep paralysis, that is a lot of people experiencing it. By definition, sleep paralysis is a temporary inability to move or speak when you are either waking up or just falling asleep. So it either occurs at the beginning of your sleeping or nearing the end of it. It typically is said to last anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, but it is said that those who experience sleep paralysis feel as though so much more time has passed than just a few seconds while they're experiencing it. It is such a terrifying and traumatic thing to occur that most times people feel like it's lasted for much longer than it truly has. It's described by so many people as absolutely terrifying, which I could understand because essentially, you are aware and awake, but your body is not. Some people have described hearing footsteps approaching, sensing somebody in the room, or actually seeing what they've described as an alien, a demon, or a shadow person. In some cases, these specific beings are actually on top of the person experiencing sleep paralysis, and in some extreme cases, they're actually choking them. So they feel an immense pressure on their chest, and they see or sense something on top of them applying that pressure and making it difficult for them to breathe, or even, like I said, choking them. Some people have described that feeling of being unable to breathe or an immense pressure on their chest, while others claim that they just sense this overall feeling of dread and they feel like they may actually be dying or they may actually die. For many people, the experience of sleep paralysis is so horrifying that they actually dread falling asleep and the idea of sleeping, which for most of us is such a calm and peaceful time of the day or night, is now completely terrifying to them and they don't even want to fall asleep. However, science and medicine claims that there's no real dangers surrounding sleep paralysis. According to science and medicine, sleep paralysis occurs during the REM sleep stage of your sleep cycle, which is the rapid eye movement sleep stage. The first period of the REM sleep stage occurs around 90 minutes after you've fallen asleep. Now, interestingly enough, during the REM sleep stage is when the majority of your dreaming occurs or where the majority of your very vivid lifelike dreams are occurring. And because of this, your body has this mechanism of defense where it temporarily turns off the muscles in your arms and legs in order to protect yourself and those around you so you don't act out those very lifelike dreams. I mean, if you're having a dream that you're in an epic battle with somebody, you don't want to be necessarily living out that with your body. So your body will temporarily turn off the muscles in your arms and legs during that REM sleep stage. According to science and medicine, sleep paralysis occurs during this moment in time where somebody essentially wakes up before their body has completed that portion of the REM sleep stage. So in, in essence, the muscles in your arms and legs are still temporarily turned off, but now you've woken up before you should have and you're aware of what's going on around you, you're awake, but your body is not and therefore you're unable to move your arms and legs 
which in turn is sleep paralysis. Now, unfortunately, there is no known way to actually treat sleep paralysis and no known way to for sure guarantee that you won't experience sleep paralysis. There's simply just preventative tips and tricks in order to help the person experiencing sleep paralysis. Because while some people may only experience sleep paralysis once or twice in their lifetime, there are people who experience sleep paralysis nearly every time they fall asleep. Some people believe that sleep paralysis is caused due to lack of sleep or a poor sleep cycle or a change in your sleep cycle. So if you've suddenly started going to bed later, waking up earlier, there may be a link between your poor sleep schedule and sleep paralysis. But others actually believe that there could be a link between mental illness and sleep paralysis, specifically depression and bipolar disorder, but more specifically anxiety. Some people really believe that there's a link between anxiety and sleep paralysis, although that also has not been proven. So that's basically in a small, very condensed nutshell what sleep paralysis is and what somebody in the medical or scientific field would tell you that sleep paralysis is. It's essentially your mind waking up before your body's completed the REM sleep cycle and that explains the paralyzed body but the alert mind. But there are lots of people who believe that sleep paralysis has a direct link and association to something paranormal going on. Those with a very spiritually open mind who have looked into sleep paralysis cases claim that those suffering from sleep paralysis more often than not have a link to something paranormal going on in their lives. So for an example, perhaps somebody who's never experienced sleep paralysis suddenly moves into a home with a haunted history and begins experiencing it, that would be the link between sleep paralysis and something paranormal. Some paranormal researchers have actually claimed that when looking into sleep paralysis and its association to the paranormal, a large percentage of those that they studied and those that they investigated were experiencing hauntings or did have some sort of paranormal link associated to their sleep paralysis. So they believed that more often than not there is some sort of paranormal or spiritual link to sleep paralysis. Others believe that sleep paralysis isn't directly related to any sort of haunting or paranormal experiences, but rather more so a spiritual awakening. In other terms, a spiritual awareness. That perhaps you may have had a moment of disconnect from this physical body and you are now spiritually aware. In essence, those who believe that it's more of a spiritual awareness believe that during the moments of sleep paralysis, your soul or your spirit has detached in a sense from your physical body so you're unable to move it and that that's why a lot of people will see otherworldly or other dimensional beings such as shadow people or aliens or demons or whatever it is they're seeing is because now they're able to see beyond our veil, which is a very interesting theory to explore. I do believe that when you're asleep, your soul does awaken. And something very interesting on that note to explore is that science and medicine claims that during sleep paralysis, your brain wakes up, but your physical body is still asleep or in that sleep stage. But what if it's that your soul wakes up and your physical body is disconnected from it for those few moments in time, and you're suddenly able to see past this veil? I personally have found that whenever I've fallen asleep, my spiritual ego has dropped and my spirituality is heightened. Actually, specifically, before when I was kind of in this transformative period spiritually and I wasn't really listening to the messages and signs around me, whenever I would fall asleep, I would be shown these messages and signs in dreams, things that would transpire, such as premonitions or even just the messages that I was neglecting or failing to hear throughout the day were suddenly coming through in my dreams. With that being said, I've never personally experienced sleep paralysis, but I have had out of body experiences during the night unintentionally, which I've done a whole video on. And so I am almost inclined to wonder if there could be a link between some sort of awakening and seeing other dimensional beings during the time of sleep paralysis. If you're being haunted, it could be that your soul is able to wake up and now you're suddenly experiencing and seeing in your dimension what lays beyond. What I think is so interesting about sleep paralysis is while everybody understands or for the most part understands what exactly it is, it seems like some people's experiences with sleep paralysis really lead them to believe that there's something more going on than just your brain waking up before that stage of your sleep cycle is complete. And I think what's so interesting is that there's always going to be this, this debate on what exactly is going on. Because even if you believe that it's not just explained by waking up earlier and it's not just explained by medicine or science, you 
there is still a massive debate as to what exactly is going on during sleep paralysis. Whether it's more of a soul awakening or it's more of a paranormal experience or what it is that you're seeing, there is this ongoing question mark above sleep paralysis as far as what exactly is going on. While I've never personally experienced sleep paralysis, I can say that it would be a terrifying experience for anybody. I think the inability to move or speak but being aware in general is out of nightmares. It kind of takes me back to some dreams that I've had where all I want to do is scream, like something's going on in the dream and I can't scream and that is just the worst feeling ever. So to apply that into real life, I just can't even imagine. But Fortunately, like I said, there's no real dangers surrounding sleep paralysis and you will come out of it. It's just in that moment, it's a lot to deal with. And I completely sympathize with any of you that have gone through it. I know that there's so many of you who have experienced sleep paralysis. In fact, one of the most common topics in my email for you guys and in my PO box is sleep paralysis and you guys sharing your sleep paralysis experiences. So like I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what you feel when you are experiencing sleep paralysis, if you're comfortable, of course. And I'll definitely be reading through and responding to those of you because I'm, I'm very curious as well and all I can do is really share with you what others have thought where sleep paralysis is concerned. Well you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below because sleep paralysis is so fascinating to me and I feel like this was just scraping the surface on everything to do with sleep paralysis. So. Thank you guys so much for requesting this video. Like I said, it's been requested for a very, very long time. So if there is anything else that you guys want to hear me dive into, let me know that in the comments below as well. And that is it for today's video. If you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed, but you do enjoy my videos, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. We would love to have you here in our family. We are the Reese's Pieces and we believe in the unbelievable. So we would just love to have you here in our family. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, I love you guys.